Hello everyone, this is Lalita ma'am and welcome to my virtual classroom once again. It's been quite long. Yes, yes I have not uploaded any videos but as we have summer vacations so now you all are free at home. So I have come up with the handwriting classes so I hope you will learn or you will improve your handwriting by watching these videos. So now we will have regular videos being uploaded. So stay updated and stay tuned to my channel. And please do subscribe to the channel Mantram by Lalita Rao for more such exciting videos. So without further delay, let's start uh, learning the basics of handwriting. Yes. So the first important thing to improve your handwriting is paper position. You might be wondering how the position of the paper affects the handwriting. But yes, you heard right. The position of the paper is very, very important if you want to improve your handwriting. So as you can see here, the uh, paper is placed to the right of the body. So if this person is right-handed, right? So as this person is right-handed, so uh, the paper need to be placed at the right of the body with some inclination and that inclination will be towards the left side. As you can see, this person is using right hand. So the inclination is towards the left hand, okay, towards the left side. So the paper is placed to the right of the body in the midline for the right-hander and it is angled to the left. And for left-hander, if the person is a left-hander, then the paper will be inclined like this, okay, towards the right. The inclination will be towards the right. So if you are a right-hander, the inclination will be towards the left and that inclination must be around 45 degree so the inclination of 45 degree if you measure this angle so if this angle must be approximately equal to 45 degree okay so now let's move to the next part so i hope it's clear to you all that if you are a right hander you have to uh, keep the inclination towards the left and if uh, and if you are a left hander then that inclination must be towards the right. And what will be the angle? The angle will be around 45 degrees. Yes. Now, after once you have uh, positioned the paper properly, now the sec second important thing is how to hold your pencil. So the way you, you hold your pencil will also determine your handwriting. So the, the special grip that we must a use for good handwriting is tripod grip. Try three, three fingers. Now, which three fingers are involved for that? The thumb, index finger, and the middle finger. So, as you can see here, the thumb, the index finger, and the middle finger, these three fingers must be positioned properly. And these three fingers, if you Hold the pencil or pen properly in this manner with this tripod grip, then definitely your handwriting will be good. So the first thing that we learned is position of the paper. And the second thing is position of the pencil. Okay. Now the next thing. So let's start practicing drawing straight lines. Because if you want to improve your handwriting, so uh, the letters, they have straight lines, use of straight lines. So you must be comfortable in drawing the straight lines, okay? So once we learn the, drawing the straight lines, we will go for, further and then we will learn the different alphabets. So this is what horizontal line. The first thing is you should draw the horizontal line. You must practice drawing horizontal lines like this. I hope you all are repeating after me. Yes, you need a four-lined notebook and then you will draw as many horizontal lines as you can. 
So one page, your homework is one page. You have to completely draw the horizontal lines. And once you are comfortable in drawing horizontal lines, then slanting line. Okay. This slanting line like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. And in this manner, you have to draw the slanting lines again completely one page. You might be wondering why ma'am is asking us to write slanting lines. But we will use these slanting lines to write some alphabets. So that's why it is important to know how to draw or it is important to practice drawing these slanting lines. Now, after that, once again, slanting line in the opposite manner. Okay. This also you have to draw slanting lines. Again, one complete page. And I hope uh, you will all practice it. And then you will upload the image of your practice. I will definitely go through it. Okay. So your homework must be done and it must be uploaded in the comment section. So now after slanting line, we have to draw as we uh, have drawn here this horizontal line. Now let us draw vertical line. So vertical line, vertical line, vertical line, vertical line. Again, in this manner, we will draw vertical lines. Again, one complete page, we have to draw vertical lines. This also, you have to draw completely one page. Okay. Now, after we finish uh, drawing horizontal lines and vertical lines, now let us come to the curved lines. So, this is one curve. This is one curve. If you practice this curved line, you are already practicing C. Isn't it? Yes. So this is the curved line. So this curved line is same as C. So you have to keep on writing one complete page. As I am mentioning again and again, more and more practice will uh, develop more and more perfection. So it's important to practice daily and regularly. Okay. Now after this single curve, this double curve. Okay. Like this. Double curve, which looks like, which looks like S. So this double curve. So again, this double curve S also we have to write one whole page. So children. So, let's quickly revise what we have learned today. First thing is, we have learned how to keep the position of the paper, how to keep the paper when you are writing. So, you must sit straight and the paper must be placed to the right of your body midline for the right-handed and angle to the left. So, it must be kept towards your right side, but its angle uh, must be towards the left. And for left-hand writer, the paper is placed to the left of the body. Then we have also discussed the other important factor is position of the pencil. So the pencil's position or the grip of the pencil must be tripoid grip by using the three fingers, um, thumb, index and the middle finger. And then we have also discussed about 
uh, how to draw horizontal lines, slanting lines, vertical lines, and of course, the curved lines. So I hope you have uh, uh, enjoyed today's class. So in the next class, we will learn how to write the alphabets in simple handwriting. So stay tuned to my channel. Until then, subscribe to it. Bye-bye.